everyone, I am back. And today, I'm gonna explain why I hate cars. Like, if a case, if any of you, oh crap. It's really cold right now. Crap. Alright, it should be warm now. So the reason I hate cars, I meant to explain this in my other video, why you should get a motorcycle, but of course I crash. <laughs> Epic fail, I know. Uh, those are little uh, palm things, uh, pots on it, whatever, I hope. So basically why I hate cars is because it's boring. It's really, really boring, you know? On my car, of course, I meant to explain this in my other video, but like I said, I crashed. Yeah, I think that was real kill real there or something. I couldn't tell. Anyways, because on motorcycles, two wheels are completely different. Of course, whenever you turn, like, it's nothing much really, like I said before. But on a motorcycle, whenever you turn, you have to... There's two ways of turning your wheel, basically, to either push the bars like this, or you can counter steer, basically it means you go whenever you turn the handlebars right slightly, the bike will go left, and turn left, the bike will go right. And it's kind of weird, it really confuses, but once once you are able to ride today, it's like you do it well without any thinking. You'll do it without any thinking. So yeah. Then make a U-turn. Hopefully I don't crash again. <laughs> Boop, boop. Okay, so far good. I messed up, foot down, that's bad. Anyway, so is this car, is it a motorcycle? When you return, you know the G force, whenever you turn left, your body wants to go right. Well, on a motorcycle, um, Basically, if you turn, basically when you turn, it basically your body is going with it. Well, yeah. Oh. <laughs> so yeah, this is. I can't. I'm about. To, I'm bad. I'm bad. Yeah. I'm bad at explaining things well. Yes, I know motorcycle dangerous. I'm pretty sure I'm gonna get a lot of comments about that. Oh, motorcycle dangerous. That's why I don't grab one. Of course, I understand that. But. Yeah, I swear that is real cool. <laughs> but yeah, you know, it's dangerous, but it's fun. It's really, really fun. It's cool as fuck right now. Fuck. Um, so that's why I got a motorcycle. If if you're a motorcyclist, you're probably able to explain a lot better why it's fun because I'm fucking awful at explaining things sometimes. Trust me. Like for example, this thing here. Your car is in a whoop. Like that. You actually lean with the bike. Oh, I got my turn station on. <laughs> I didn't realize that. So yeah, on a motorcycle, you lean with the bike. On the car, uh, it's completely the opposite. You know, the car is just boring, you know? It's boring. There's no fun to it, really. Well, if you ask me. Go karts are fun though. I've driven them. I raced them before. Yeah, but I understand. But when I first drove, uh, actually two wheels, uh, was there was a moped that I was trying to get, but we never got it. And the first time we driving that, it was phenomenal. If you never drove a, a motorcycle or a moped. Try it at least once in your life. Maybe you'll like it. Some don't, I can understand. <laughs> you know, I can say if you don't like it, that's completely understandable. 
But if you've never ridden a motorcycle and you talk shit about it, no, don't do that. That's, that's, uh, I don't understand why. Shit, <laughs> I got to too close. Yeah, so those are my reasons why I hate cars. Mostly it's because they're boring, they're bulky. You know, I could go to traffic with this bike easily with ease, you know, no problem. Like, well, of course, this is Arizona, so you can't lane split legally. But if I were to move to Cali or some other foreign country, yeah, I can. Also, I save a lot more gas on a motorcycle than a car. For example, um, like, say that I gotta pay like $35 on a car for taking gas. On a motorcycle, a full tank of gas is like $10 or something, depending on how big the tank is and everything. So I save money, I save time, it's fun, I won't get bored. Well, of course, there's a lot of you that got like a 600 as your first buy because you say you don't want to like get bored with the 250 which is understandable you know you get what you want to get i'm not judging but for my opinion or you, you want to start with something small and yes i know this is a 125 and this is the first thing really i meant to start on the ninja 250 but we didn't get that we never got that fixed so I got myself the media bike, which I never got videos of, sadly. I was one of the, there's a park where I usually go to. It was fun. I was stripping the grass. Did my first burnout on that shit. Ooh, it was awesome. Then I got this bike and sold the media bike. And yeah, that's where I am now. <laughs> but once we get the, that's the thing. but once we get the, motor, the Ninja fixed, oh, we're going to ride that so much. And of course, we're going to couple do, I'm going to do a couple more things to like throw out the baffle, take out the baffle, uh, bar and mirrors because, like, for example, like this mirror, uh, you can't see shit. Oh, that's loose. Got to tighten that screw right there. But yeah. I always want to go to that dirt road right there, but I don't have a supermodel to do that. Oh, that'd be awesome, I'll tell you. Uh, second, yeah. Good. Uh, that's first. There we go. A little bit out here. Nice early noise. Nice and random pedestrian on this bicycle. Yeah. Well, yeah. I'm not sure how that is in 1080p at 30 frames per second, but hopefully it's really beautiful. Beautiful. Uh, so yeah, those are my reasons why I hate cars. So that's why I never get, I never got one. Well, I did actually, but then I sold to get my motorcycles. <laughs> But yeah, y'all understand. So leave a like, subscribe for more videos. Bye bye.